ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan and thank you so much for joining us for our Friday weather update for March 3rd. We're dealing with two severe tropical cyclones to New Zealand's north and a big weather pattern change coming for New Zealand. In fact, it might be our biggest one since last winter or even longer than that. So let's take a look and see what is happening. We'll start with the two tropical cyclones, Judy and the newly named Kevin. Now, Kevin was named by the Fiji Met Service. Uh, we've had a lot of comments about that name, a lot of references to Home Alone and to the American office. Uh, apologies to anybody named Kevin, not mocking you, but the name is certainly um, making for some interesting conversations on social media. But the storm is a very serious storm. It's category three, severe, and it's getting stronger. It's gonna to get to category four, up to a scale of five. So this one is going to track in almost the exact same place that Judy just came in from. While the two storms are coming from totally different directions, they are meeting up around Port Vila, and that's the same track that Judy had and Kevin's following it hot on its heels. So for the second time in a week, Port Vila's got a severe Cat 3 cyclone. That's very unusual from a global point of view for the same town to get hit twice in a row in the same week by a similar strength cyclone. But it's not too unusual to actually see a cyclone followed by another one. We do actually see that when you've got the right breeding ground and the right conditions up here, two storms in a row, that's not so unusual. And we've also got this low here. They're all connected, these three. They're all tracking in the same direction. And that means New Zealand's pretty much away from it all. Why is that? Well, we've got high pressure parked over the top of the country. That's helpful. And an even more powerful high south of Australia. So take a look at the southern part of the map. I know the attention's up here, but look at this. From Tasmania to Stewart Island and beyond, there is a big storm in the Southern Ocean and it is sending up this big southerly change. That southerly will spread northwards. That's another guiding force to keep those storms to New Zealand's north. Here's the closer view of the storm this morning. Cyclone Kevin, Cat 3, getting stronger, growing to Cat 4. Thunderstorms, not as much as with Judy, but this was taken in the morning, only eight o'clock in the morning uh, Vanuatu time. So as the day wears on, we're going to see that heat making for more thundery weather as the storm tracks along very close to Port Vila. Here's the tracking from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. That's from America. They're kind of the global body for tracking cyclones, a little bit like how the USGS is for tracking earthquakes. And speaking of quakes, Vanuatu this morning, 6.5 earthquake, just 10 kilometers deep. So a bit of rock and roll this morning, underground. Now above ground, in comes Kevin. Here was where Judy formed near Samoa. Kevin formed near uh, Queensland. Both storms named by the Fiji Met Service. Draw a line halfway down the Tasman Sea. West of that, it's named by Australia. East of that, it gets named by Fiji once it gets to that criteria of gale force winds and lower air pressure. Let's have a look at the rainfall for New Zealand for the next three days ahead. Hawke's Bay and the Kaikoura Ranges both exposed because of a southerly coming in. So it's not the tropical rain anymore, southerlies coming in and sort of piling up a wee bit. It's not too problematic for the most part, but for some of those areas in Hawke's Bay where they're still using vehicles and uh, to drive over flooded rivers where the bridges have been washed out, you know, add another 30 millimeters to that, to that catchment area, and those rivers may be um, impassable for another day or two. So there could be a few issues from that, but not so much in the way of severe problems. Although maybe still some slips on the state highways as they try to clear them. If you need the more detailed rainfall, please go to our website. We've got rainfall maps and rainfall data. We get a complaint every single day on YouTube about this key. It's an international key, we don't make it. It's part of the global community. And like any key, if you focus on it, it does actually make sense. Unless, of course, you're colorblind, which is another issue, and we're working on that too. Well aware that if you're colorblind, a lot of these maps don't mean a lot, so we're trying to fix that for you. We're a very small company. There's only a few of us working here, but we are making some inroads in that for you as well. Let's take a quick look at Aussie. Five-day rainfall map. The New Zealand one was three days. Some big rainfall up here due to a stalled tropical low, but elsewhere not so bad, and rainfall totals around the edges, very small, in the showery mark at the bottom of the scale there, except for Tasmania. Let's have a look now at the forecast. Here we are on Saturday. Judy is down here, becoming an ex-cyclone at some point, and up here we've got Kevin. 981 it says on there, but it is a lot deeper than that. That's the zoomed out version. We'll show you the zoomed in version in a brief moment. 
Here's the high that's coming in, the guiding force for those cyclones, but it's also driving in the colder southerly. Unfortunately, the rainfall totals down in Southland in drought now, not as much as we'd like because that high is going to come in and kind of stop the showery weather. So it sort of brings in the wet weather and then it stops it at the same time. So here's the closer up version of Cyclone Kevin. Vanuatu along here, 954, that's deeper than Gabriel was, which is expected. It's supposed to get to Cat 4, Gabriel got to Cat 3. So this is a serious cyclone as it tracks through Vanuatu. New Caledonia out to the west, not as uh, seriously affected. So on Sunday, look at this, a low stuck here around Northern Australia, Kevin and Judy, and then the former low that was stuck off the East Cape area. So this is a series of low pressure, but there's a big block here of high pressure coming in, and that's really going to be our protective feature. But you can see why the Kaikoura Ranges and up here around uh, Hawke's Bay, why you're getting that wet weather from the southeasterly flow. Now next week, these two storms are out to sea. Uh, around the Cook Islands, it might be a little bit wet, and around Fiji, certainly, you've got rain and showers lingering around there, but no storms in Vanuatu. There's the good news. That low is still stuck around northern parts of Australia, and it's still there on Tuesday as well. Not very populated up there, but people do live there around that coastal area. So we've got some rain, and there could be more flooding in that very low-lying area that you've got just down here to the south around Queensland. But look at this storm. Now, speaking of Australia, I'm sorry to use this 1980s um, cliche, but you call that a storm, this is a storm. Now, the air pressure, 969, not as deep, but it shows you the difference between a tropical cyclone and an extra tropical cyclone. Extra tropical, it all fans out uh, and makes it very stormy for a long way, whereas cyclones, the worst weather is right near that middle part. So this one is classic autumn. And I said to you, we've got a big weather pattern change. Well, this is it. So as it moves on through next week, by Wednesday next week, that's the remnants of the cyclones merging together into a storm that's becoming extra tropical. So it's going to get larger, but it's away from the Chatham Islands. It's away from the Cook Islands. So probably not a problem for most people. But look at this big autumn change coming in for New Zealand. Lots of windy westerlies, high pressure further north and in Australia too. That's what happens as we go through autumn. The, the big highs over New Zealand, they shift further up the screen and the storms in the Southern Ocean get closer as well. So our big weather pattern change is we're shifting from easterlies to westerlies. That is music to the ears of those who live in the east here. But the downside is the southerlies that we're getting, like the one we've got in the next three days, that's the reason why you're still not out of the woods as far as getting rain into these flood hit areas. But anyway, that is all from me for today. We are back again next week on Tuesday. We're taking Monday off. Uh, we're a small company. There's only a few of us working here. I saw a comment the other day saying that we're a big corporate. Uh, we are a, an official business partner of IBM. That means that we pay IBM. IBM doesn't own us. And so we are a small business and we're taking a few days off because the last couple of months have been our most intense without a doubt. It pales in comparison to those dealing with the cleanup, but we're away on Monday, we're back on Tuesday, and next week's weather, back to autumn here in New Zealand and the tropics, much quieter next week. That's all from me. Have a great weekend. We'll see you Tuesday.